All the engines on the island of Soto are working hard. All of them were doing their usual jobs. Except for James and Edward, who had to stay at Napford Station to shun in the yard. Sometimes they even slept at the station to get things done early. One day, the Fat Controller came and spoke to James. James, you'll have to stay the night to shun a special train. You'll be going out to the docks in the morning. James wasn't pleased. But sir! Really useful engines, don't argue. And with that, he left to his house for a lovely hot dinner. That night, after the special train had left the station, James' driver spoke to him. You'll have to sleep here, James. It's too late for us to make our way back. James was cross. James was parked on the siding. His driver and fireman went to get a well-deserved break. It was then James was awakened by a thick, loud growl. What was that? He cried. What was that? A strange light then moved to the distance. What is this? He wailed. James couldn't see what was produced in the light. He was too scared to understand what was going on. The light then mysteriously disappeared into the darkness. The next morning, James told everything to Edward. Are you sure this really happened? Of course it happened, James interjected. If you don't believe it, wait until you see it yourself. With that, he puffed away, still shaken. Edward was very thoughtful. He didn't want to doubt James, but he also needed to find a good logical explanation for all of it. That afternoon, the Fat Controller sent the Station Master to speak with Edward and James. You will have to spend the night at the station to send a special mail train. James wasn't enthusiastic. He was still shaken up. Edward thought to himself, Tonight, I will see what this shiny thing really is. After the work was done, the special mail train departed the station leaving James and Edward alone. They were resting their wheels and dozing off when they were awakened by the groan coming from the same place. The light is back, James cried. It must be a ghost. Edward felt scared, but he knew he had to figure out what it was. For the rest of the steam he had in his boiler, he let out a long, loud whistle. What are you doing? James screamed. You will attract the evil light! The light began to get closer, closer, and closer. And when it got close enough, the shape revealed itself. It was Boko. Hello, said Boko friendly. What's all the noise about? James was aghast. Well, 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 laughed Edward. There's a scary glowing light, James. And the, and the growl? I suppose that was Boko's motor. Edward began to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and soon even James couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!